wholeness and balanced vibrations family. I trust you well. Vibe in the resonance. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. Friday, Venus Day. And I uh, just want to share some downloads or uploads or builds with the tribe today that was in resonance as, as always. So we operate in the moment. Beautiful, engaging, awesome moments. The beams. Shout out to the beam behind me. And uh, took notes in class. You know, it's, it's class. You know, if you don't take lo- notes on your in your lessons, and you, you're not doing you're not doing the the wisdom justice. You know, by taking it down. And uh, the lesson every day you can learn something. So have a little notebook in your pocket to help get you that resonance. And I like the sun behind me. Yes, that's the energy right there. And I'm gonna ask for to take my time. Cause that's something that I want to personally um, embody is stillness, wisdom. Like uh, Russ says, uh, fools rush in. So take my time and let the, the energy speak for itself. May the ancestors be with me as they already are, and I know they are, but I ask for the clarity and the and the utterances and and wisdom that comes through me to may those who receive receive the seed to birth the same or uh, growth of the harvest and uh, keep sharing the light. So. With that being said, again, Venus Day, a Friday, six in numerology. And it's, it's always awesome. It's amazing when you're talking about, again, we're talking about the mother. We're talking about, we're talking about uh, the woman <laughs> or the mother before, uh, the, the woman before the motherhood, before the, before the seed. Uh, you ain't going into it, of course. And... Just think of it as it's always our I, 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 I history and our the mythology and our ancient stories are always so engaging when it comes to uh, an epic storyline. You know, if we're looking for uh, drama, we're looking for uh, you know, action, we're looking for you know the, the gory blood, whatever. It always gives like that type of spectacle. Whatever the, the sun wants to be right there the head, at the head, so we're gonna let it ride like that. <laughs> so um, it's always an amazing story. So in this story of Venus, that it was um, that came through the ether via Savan, the bomber, who <laughs> dropping jewels everywhere to land to explode in abundance with the, the in the fertile soils, was there that the wisdom comes uh, forth, the fruit come forth. So, <laughs> in a society where women, modern and ancient, has little place within the, the foundation, <laughs> we see her demonized, uh, oppressed, uh, ignored throughout society, you know, uh, and <laughs> how can you have productive futures if you don't respect the mother of the portal, the zero, the unmovable, who is going nowhere because without the woman, there is no, no humanity. So if you don't learn to respect and love and cherish her, how can you expect to have an abundant future? So with that being said, continue to move forward. So we're talking about this bad, fine, Mm-mm-mm, curvilicious, voluptuous uh, sister who who's hanging with the Nagas, you know, hanging with the nobles. And um, always, you know, everybody don't come from uh, the best past. So you got some, you got some, some rough uncles, some, maybe some aunties who not necessarily doing the best. You hang with the Nagas. So you, let's say you in the ghetto, you know, you're coming from a hard times and <laughs> where she's coming from hard times and where 
it's not the ideal space to for for fertile growth or for children or just abundance. So you gotta find a noble, you know, somebody who's you know, carrying the light, we're representative, and they can carry you uh you can help take you and your family to to a better space. You, so you gotta connect with a noble. Um <laughs> and she's loved where she is. You know, it's the family. So everybody kind of put her hopes, put their hopes and dreams as she goes off into the world to to make a better life for all of us. So grandma you know, wraps up some of her awesome you know, fruits, which she, all she has, you know, to give give to her. Grandpa, you know, put a little change in her pocket. You now uncle, who will be out there in these streets, you know, he he made a couple extra, so a couple extra change and like slid that to her too. You know, made, um, oh, got got her a car. Boom, got her a chariot. Boom, she ride. And uh, everybody gave a little something. You know, what they had and trust that she would come back and bring boy, bring back food. So this, this is beautiful dame carrying some of the demons work, some of, <laughs> of the, how you look at it. They, they, they carry some of these things from essences or, or creatures that are not necessarily in balance, but they want to get there. So they put the trust in her. So she's carrying all of them, you know, on her. She's going through, going through the process. And when we're talking about Venus, we're talking about uh, the pentagram, you know, pentagram, boom, boom, boom. And it's before she begins to, to get to the six, it's the five before you get to the six. And, um, it's amazing how, all right, so again, tying back to the Venus. Venus, we know Venus is oppressed. The woman is oppressed uh, and demonized because in a world where uh, religion and let's say uh, religion, the dogmas run rampant. The dogs run rampant. The dogmas run rampant. They're the bitches, <laughs> the fake women, like they don't, continue to move forward. So in that essence, okay, that's what I'm looking for now. <laughs> now I'll take my time. Oppressed in her vision, you know, showing you the true essence of Venus is not the, the stance of the the masses or the powers that be who, who govern the visual spectrum will come through the television or tell live vision, tells lies to your vision. I just saw Stranger Things for the first time. Uh, they on season three or the season I saw. Season three with some friends, um, a brother of mine. And I was like, you know, because I began to now start to watch more things. Before I was like, I, I, I never even had a TV. I, I hadn't had, had a television since I left, you know, um, high school. No, yeah, high school. And I had it in my mom's house. And after that, never got a TV. And because I get I didn't for one, I had to change money to get a TV. And the other, I didn't really like looking at a lot of TV. I was I'm from the country. You know, I'm back back home. So I'm from all the space. So I love to ride my bike or running, go exploring somewhere. That was my my fun. So I enjoy it mainly so the adventures and, and communications that that developed the skill developed in me um the gift of gab as i say but in this show you have i forgot the narrative of the show but uh, i think uh demons were the same i was watching aliens or creatures come from other portals into into their reality and for the episode i saw it, it i think it might have been the finale um, where they had to stop this demon from coming in. And throughout the show, I seen what these creatures look like. And I was like, what? I was like, that's, that's the Venus symbol. You know, that's exactly what it is. Okay, when you learn the code, you can you know, get to you know, spot them everywhere. So to demonize a symbol that is meant for for positivity or uh, with a strong foundation symbol and you demonize it, you begin to subconsciously program that anytime that is seen 
that is looked to be you know, destruction. And it's funny because the Venus is also known as the mother of monsters. But when this monster, when this uh, alien or creature came out and it opened his, 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 his face or mouth to, to devour these humans, it was that, that lotus symbol. Ooh, that lotus, is it called lotus? It might be the lotus symbol. Um, a five petal, you know, symbol. I'm a, I'm a five. And I was like, yo, this, that's Venus. Now, what's she doing here? <laughs> and it was like, yo, see, they, they no, they distorting it. They doing it again. They distorting it again. I just was looking at it. Bam. Nope, oh, that's not it. Oh, that is it. Right? Stranger. So it was this one. Bam. So right there. This is this is the so the Venus, the planet. The planet has an orbit that it makes every seven years, I believe. And it makes this symbol, which you see all throughout nature, but again, taking a, a positive symbol and making it and distorting it. What's the day day? Green Venus baby. Hey, hey girl. All right, so you got the same symbol. I'll pull up another symbol of her later as she travels through cosmos. Yeah, so this symbol is Venus. <laughs> and the mother of demons, uh, the mother of monsters, also known as, you, you know, you know uh, some sisters who come through and who didn't do it necessarily the proper uh, um, calibrations and when choosing her mate and you know she got she would make she got some you know babies with Pookie and you know uh, <laughs> and baby's kids the baby's kids are oh, wow they tear up everything you know we don't die we multiply and uh, so if not if proper calibrations are not set you you know you you dive into that space, and let me, let me pull up the other. Uh, I mean you you put you birth something that's not as balanced as you would like it. So that's why in you in their pursuit for the in the Nagas uh, the, the nobles of it. Let me see Venus for a bit. Bam, bam. Ah, right, yeah. So here you go again. This is Venus's orbit. That same, that same thing. Bam. Venus's orbit. And again, this is a symbol of just a planet, and this is how it rotates. Where you see how, but it's so powerful because you wouldn't use. No, this, this, these things are not random. It's like, they were, you're putting too much together. It ain't that deep. Like, I, it, it's that deep. It's deeper than deep. Like, it's, it's, it's infinitely deep. Because when you're talking about the portal, which Venus is the mother, you're talking about the womb. The womb is how you get here. We're talking about the zero, you know, the, the unmovable, the, the space to get into this, the only way to this planet. No, this is this. And we say it again in the strange things. They're coming from another planet into this plane to devour who they can control uh, and, and take over the humans, you know, and they, and they can't get fucking in the videos and um, in that episode, they couldn't get fully through. So they had to send a representative, um, I think it's like by bacteria or something like that to get into the human's body to control their consciousness. And then it works for them. It is, and it's so, it's so distorted. So we keep going. All right, so going from the five pentagram 
to the six. Because then later she finds he finds the noble. And I think I found some ants with <laughs> and trying to give me some uh, some love. That's some damn wisdom. I appreciate that. Um, she finds the wisdom. She found. She finds the noble. Uh, but the nobles, you know, they. She looks good. She flashy. She rolled up big. You know, she voluptuous, curvy. But they don't know her whole story. They don't know where she came from, and they don't know really know what she's trying to do. So Venus is also known for being. Um, you know, you can't go see the whole thing. Right, right off that, you got to take time. So even that orbit of Venus takes seven Earth years to go through her complete cycle. And um, you can't just jump in. You can't just jump in. You got to understand her. You got to take your time. You know, what's, what's your mama? Like, what's your daddy? Like, you know, take longer than two weeks. Take, trust me, I know. Because this is actually uh, <laughs> definitely a reflection of self. Because uh, I, I was caught up <laughs> working uh, with with uh, my 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 first first lady is this. We keep going. Yeah, I'll dive into it later. And uh, going connecting to the noble. So she connects to the noble. He's fine. She sound good. She look good. She walk good. She talk good. She smell good. Oh my goodness, she's the one. <laughs> uh, and so she gets him. She gets him. She gets the 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 nobles that she's looking for. Uh, Spends the night, you know, she got to stay the whole night because she can't just pop in and pop back out, you know, like a thief in the night. But she got to stay a little longer, you know, to really seem like she's here all the way. But she has another motive. She has another motive with you. <laughs> so she 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 gets it as soon as she drops to sleep. The noble that she got, uh, she's out. Before he realizes that. This ain't, she's not a noble like me. She's not a, um, she's not necessarily what I would, you know, uh, choose as my first mate, as my lifelong mate to procreate with. But the seed has already been spent. The seed has already been spilled. The rays have already been, has been inseminated inside the womb. It's there now. She has it. He don't know. She's gone. He wakes up, she out. Or... When he went to, what was to get back breakfast or goes to work the next day, she's out. Gone. Gone. And now she has back with child. So this is when it goes to the six. She goes from the five to the six. Creating the, the hexagram. So from the pentagram to the hexagram. The hexagram is now like the... The, the masculine and the feminine is, is, it has been merged. The, 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 the marriage has happened. And the child is now in the womb. The womb is a portal. The portal is infinite. The womb is infinite. It's the only way to get to this planet. It's how you get here. It's the five. It's the Fibonacci. The six is the Fibonacci. It's the spiral. The spiral. And uh, did I bring a pencil out here? I did not, but I already, I already drew it in the scene back here. Uh, let's see, I can flip the camera. <laughs> flip, flip, flip. Bam. All right, so bam, we got we got the hexagram here. Hexagram, hexagram, masculine, feminine, feminine. And we got the six. The six, six is that spiral there. Bam. Spiral, so it comes out, comes in, comes on, it creates that spiral, which is the portal because you're still in your mom's house, you're still you're there, and bam, you've been created. The seed is here, the seed is birthed, and uh, <laughs> the game has got you. <laughs> she, is, uh, she has now has the noble. And uh, it actually goes to that that hex gun actually two three dimensionally goes to the Markaba, which Markaba uh, is the the ship, the spaceship in which you that we all have access to, the light ship. And go back, go back to my story. I realized how today in class in uh, within in, um, in the ambassador training on secret energy, which uh, if you're not in, should grab 
if you if, you, if this story is engaging to you and it's like oh that he owns something check it out it's man the best investment i've ever made ever 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 like it's something you want to get into to increase your your speed, your top speed, your frequency, your sovereignty, because that's where we're going. Being able to produce your own mentally, spiritually, and physically. Know where the rabbit hole goes. Know your origins. Know your mother. Honor. Know your father. Honor a mother and father in your days will be long upon the earth, but you have to know who she is. Venus is her. You got to know her, but it takes time to get to know her. So take time. Take your space. You actually go out of time because time doesn't exist. It's a concept that was time doesn't exist. You operate in it now. If it's time for you to get it and you feel the resonance, jump in. So, my story, right? Because it, it, it connects again. Uh, one of my, um, my, uh, it's part of my path that in skilled learn, learned to be able to communicate and see others and not see others' experiences and in, in encoded, upgraded into myself and not to actually have, have to go through such cer- certain experiences to yield the fruit. Like, okay, I see how this works. And I was able to like hop over certain, um, certain potholes that could have deterred me uh, in my growth because I was able to see others and learn from others and, uh, and always be able to see my reflection of self in them. That's why it's so easy to communicate and talk with um, an abundance of people because we all the same, you know. Is that I, I would love to learn from people, and so hope you're learning right now and getting it from the ether. I'm gonna take my breath because um, it's neat. I got caught by Venus, and I'm pretty sure many of of us have been, you know, caught up with, within some of the stories, or you can embody the story. So uh, rushing in into a space where caught up. So again, another background story. So I was a virgin to um, to 21, you know, no sex. You know, I was like, yeah, I'm waiting for the right one. But necessarily wasn't that easy. I just didn't want to give it to anyone that I wasn't going to be you know, with for a minute. And once I, when I finally lost, I, was, I think I was a senior in college. And finally, you no know, fraternity. Um, you know, cause, you know, I was I was out here blazing. You know, enjoying enjoying time, enjoying the space. Always, you know, in something, plans to go, you know, different places. You know, and all you know that stuff. So I was spotted <laughs> and, and targeted. And then, Cause I mean, I saw the snow, fine, beautiful, um, and I allowed my. That wasn't my first, but allowed this uh lust to take forth and uh and spill the seed and develop my first beautiful kid my first beautiful child uh baby girl and now in hindsight in this, this level of the consciousness or level of awareness that <laughs> mom was a four i'm uh a five no i'm a i'm a one when it comes to like destiny numbers and numerology like that. But in our calculations, we make five. We made that the Venus before. And then spilled the seed, uh birth, uh first baby girl. And she's a she's a five and a six. And it's wow. Cause now I can see all the numerology coming through. And also again with my 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 parents. And and again numerology still came out to be uh, five, six, and to the one because I'm a one, I'm a one and a uh, three, and it's getting the math is wow. When, cause that was the riddle, you know. Uh, coming to, I'm, I'm getting sidetracked now. But understanding and taking time with the mother, and understanding you're always in your mom's house, you're always in that space because you you came. This this is, you know, the. The Fibonacci is you came through the portal. You have the DNA. Your mom, mom carries this, the eggs. How's it go? So the eggs is carried by the woman. You know, these cosmoses. Like uh, your great, 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 great grandmother 
had your great, great, great grandmother in her womb already with an ex born with it. And she also had, I think it's three generations that are within, you know, and then everyone is, is in there. So you're still in your mom's house. Like you're still the DNA that's still all you all day. And understanding where you are, honoring that mother and that father, is how you ascend mentally, spiritually. Because now you know where you are. You know how to communicate. You can connect to the greenery, connect to the earth, which is her. And the Venus. You know, they even have the, the what they call the fertility symbols. Uh, the, the Venus of, of uh, something, I forgot what it was. But you look up the fertility symbols that are found all over the globe, and they call it the Venus, which is the mother. And I'm going to wrap it at that, wrap it at that, because today is Friday, Venus Day, and we're just going to talk about Venus and how you know, amazing she is, her fine so you know. So understand that that is part of you. You are the best divine masculinity and divine feminine. And finding that balance, the hexagram within self is how you pull it together. You connect all the stars within you because you are a cosmos. Uh, you are a micro of the macro as above, so below. And this is all throughout your your system. And you ever had, a, you know, growing up, like, damn, you look just like your mama. Oh, you look just like your dad. And understanding that these, your cosmic parents, <laughs> your God is, is, you look just like them. You know, your, your hair, the curls, the thigh, the Fibonacci. It's, it's a song I, I, I started making was, uh, you find yourself in the Fibonacci. Uh, I, I'll play it another day. Uh, but you find yourself in the Fibonacci. And look, it's so much of your body is this pattern. Is too much of your DNA, man. If you look at the the DNA uh, of trees compared to to humans, you find that we have so much DNA which are similar, like predominantly, <laughs> like not just like three percent, twenty percent. Nah, this is like this is <laughs> the majority of DNA is we connect with trees. Um, uh, your spiral on your thumb, your fingerprint, like the phi is there, like the galaxy. Uh, the iris is in your eye. It looks like the cosmos. Like the uh, your organs. Every organ has a specific frequency that it connects, correlates with um, a planet, a sound, a color. Uh, the, and so this, all of this comes together. All is self. And which you once you understand, I uh, understand that. All of this is you, and realize that you have to learn these lessons, these like these birthing pains that you've been through, things that you've gone through. They, they are you already paid for you to be here and learn this knowledge. And it's, uh, this that was also dropped today in class, like this pain, paying and pain, same, like p a i n and p i p a y i n g, paying and pain. Like these are. Because all these planets have a responsibility to you. You know, you came through the cosmos uh, at one, you know, parsec within the within the nodes. You you came out, and then when you came out, and I'm talking about your natal charts now, that it was every planet within our cosmos, within our galaxy, uh, solar system, was imprinted its influence on you. Depends on where you are, and so each one of them, you pay for each one. <laughs> Uh, that this they in, in this life, you know, which like I can get into it, but uh, like Saturn, you know, it's it's quite a long, you no know, huge planet. I think that's that's tomorrow, I believe. Um, and people who are born on Saturday or on the eighth, or the, the on a, I think it's on Saturday, or has an eight as within their numerology. It has like quite a an extensive um, <laughs> path, which might be a little difficult because this is a huge planet that came into your, you know, into your space that imprinted on your influence on you, and it gave, it gives you, if you can withstand, so much wisdom through the experiences of going through the difficulties, that it makes you extremely strong. You can endure damn near anything, like because you've 
you went through so much, experienced so much. So I digress. Connect with the mother, the father. Connect, learn what you learn, but learn it, <laughs> express yourself in every day. Every day is a new moment to learn something new. So take those new opportunities in class. The class is in session. You know, it's here. So <laughs> get your notebook ready. Get your Evernote. Get your little pencil and bad around you. So you can really just take note of what's actually going on within your body and seeing what's going on within your cosmos. Because you will learn that the codes to the matrix. Because you learn how to go through. So I'm going to cut it off here. Try to be too long-winded. <laughs> Keep vibing in resonance at top speeds. Keep shining. Keep sharing that wisdom. Remember, wisdom is applied knowledge, so keep applying what you've learned at top speeds. Much love to you.